Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be teaching you how to overpack like a pro. So I know there are a lot of videos out there that show you how to pack like a minimalist and how to really pare down what you're traveling with, but that is just not my style. I have gotten better over the years of not bringing 32 bags with me, but I have finally got it down into just a carry-on, but I still like to have enough options that I don't feel trapped in just what I brought and that I have enough to switch it up or for unplanned events. The best part about traveling with just a carry-on and knowing how to overpack it is one, you don't have to worry about it being overweight and getting up charges like you do with a checked bag. Two, you don't have to deal with luggage claim after a flight and you don't risk it getting lost. And then three, most airlines allow you a carry-on and a personal item, so you can save yourself some money by packing it all into just those two bags. The only downside to a carry-on is the liquid restrictions, but I did another video that I'll link above and down below in the description, at least on how to travel with minimal makeup. So it shows you how to pare things down and make sure you don't hit those um, liquid restrictions on those items and then same with the toiletries. So that was a lot. Let's jump into the video and see all the tips and tricks. When thinking about what to pack, take a look at what kind of travel you're going to be doing. Is it beach themed or a lot more walking around and tourist things? And then what the weather is going to look like. This will help you determine ahead of time what kind of outfits you need if you're going to need swim gear or tennis shoes or just everything that you'll need. And then for prepping the clothes, you want to make sure you have everything planned ahead of time from the shirt, shorts, underwear, down to the shoes, purse, belt, and any other accessories that you might need. Along the note of pre-planning outfits, it's best if you can stick to kind of the browns or blacks as far as accessory goes, or even just tones of outfits. So you don't want to have to pack a pair of brown sandals and black sandals to go with separate outfits, try to make sure your outfits all work together so that you only have to take one set of shoes, a purse, and other jewelry like golds and silvers just that works with all of the outfits. So even better yet, if you have gold, silvers, or nudes, like for purses and shoes, they'll go with either the blacks or like kind of the brown tone outfits. Building off those two points, you want to make sure that you're packing things that you know you look good in, that you feel good in, or um, if they're new items, make sure you just put the whole outfit together ahead of time so that you know what you're getting into. There is nothing worse than getting to your destination and feeling like you have nothing to wear because it doesn't look how you thought it would look in your head. So make sure you plan your outfits ahead of time and try them on if they're new or stick to a tried and true outfit that you know you love. Another tip to maximize your carry-on space is wear the bulkiest items on the plane. So you want to make sure if you're bringing like a jean jacket or a leather jacket or a more bulky sweater, wear it on the plane. And you can always store it ahead in the overhead once you get on the plane, but planes are usually cold anyway so you might want it to wrap up in and this way you're not wasting precious space in your actual carry-on bag. And along that note, you will also want to wear your biggest shoes. So you don't want to wear your small pair of flip-flops. You want to wear either the tennis shoes or wedges if they're comfortable. Whatever will help you save some space in your carry-on, you want to wear on the plane. So before you actually pack your suitcase, you want to make sure you stage it. Lay everything out near where you're packing so that you can see kind of the outfits together and make sure that you're not duplicating efforts or that you're not forgetting something. If a bunch of outfits you're putting shorts with but there's going to be a cooler night you want to make sure you have a pair of jeans but not taking too many of them so just lay everything out and you can see it ahead of time so i back my jewelry in this little case i got from coach's outlet store several years ago but it is just the perfect travel thing you can also use a sunglass case or even just like a little tupperware storage to put your jewelry in to make sure that it doesn't get damaged or lost in your suitcase throughout the shuffle of the airport. And also on that note, if you are checking a bag, you wanna make sure that your jewelry is always with you if there is any sentimental value or if it's expensive. It is just not worth the risk of losing it. Another good tip to save space is if you are traveling with a mom, friend, sister, and you guys can split out some of the bigger items like the 
blow dryer, a curling iron, a straightener, brushes, anything that you can all kind of share together and don't need four of in each of your suitcases, this will really help cut down on the space in your carry-on. So the next tip is how to actually physically fold the clothes. This is a folding method called the KonMari method by Marie Kondo, Kondo, and you can google how to fold various clothes and it'll show you, but this helps them all get to a really compact form and they stand up on their edge so that you can see exactly what it is in your suitcase and this will help with organizing your suitcase and being able to pull things out without having to rifle through the entire bag and messing up everything in there. For the packing order, you want to start with shoes on the bottom along the edges and use socks or sports bras or whatever you can to kind of fill in the gaps and then you'll lay your clothes on top of it all standing on their edge and then you'll finish with toiletries and makeup on top so that way that they're, they are easily accessible if you need to remove them in the airport to get scanned separately. If your carry-on bag has the option to expand, make sure you leave it zipped on the way to your destination. That way, if you buy any souvenirs or any clothes while you're on your trip, you have room on the way back. So you can unzip it on the way back to add that extra couple inches of space to fit everything in. So here is the final result for everything that I was able to pack. I first have everything that I am wearing on the plane. So like I said, I'm wearing my bulky jacket and then a tank top, jeans and tennis shoes along with my carry-on bag. And then I was able to fit in the suitcase another pair of jeans, a maxi dress, two regular dresses, a tank top, a long sleeve, kind of a chambray overlay, a t-shirt, another tank top, two pairs of workout pants, and then two workout tops and a sports bra, and my cat nightgown that I travel with, and a pair of wedges, sandals, and then my tennis shoes that I'm wearing on the flight. And then I have a bag that I keep my night underwear in, a bag I keep my day underwear in just to keep them organized. I have my bag of minimalist makeup, which again, I'll have linked for you below. And then my small bag of toiletries with my shampoo, face wash, toothpaste, toothbrush, etc. And my hairbrush and straightener that I can straighten my hair with or use it to make curls. So that is everything that I was able to fit in my suitcase and I still had plenty of room left if I needed to fit in more stuff on the left side of the suitcase. All right guys, that is all I have for you. Those are my 10 travel tips and how I never have to check a bag. These are the tips that I use to pack myself and I hope you have a wonderful trip wherever you're going or learn something new for the next time you take a trip you can reference back to this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. My cat loves when I'm filming.